Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. This is part of a door lock and it was a little personal project I started in Cinema 4D. I've got the CAD file and I've just been retopologizing it. And I switched across to Blender, of course, and I decided to continue it in Blender. And I found a little topology challenge that I thought would be good to share. So I'm just going to select the retopologize part, just isolate that, and we're going to zoom in just to this part here. Now, in edge mode, if I select that edge, just control click and select that one, you can see I've got seven edges. And if I select this one here and come up to that one, I've got 14. So all I have to do is press Shift B and I can bridge those. So that's all good. But hey, it's left a little triangle there. So what am I going to do? If I fill that and leave it, you know, it's on a curved surface. It might not do too badly, but it is leaving this pole on this leading edge. Now, if I add in control loops and push it off that leading edge, maybe it will be okay. But there is an easier way to fix this and make this all quads. So what I can do is, let's see, take this loop. I am in a mirror modifier, so I've only got to just select up to here. Control X to dissolve and grab this and this ML to merge to last. And now take these ones and just slide them up, GG. And of course, I'd have to even these out. And, you know, I'm using a CAD file, so if I'm snapping to that, it should be okay to hold that curvature in place. There's enough topology there. And what I can do is just delete this one and select that one and fill. So now we have a quad. So I'm just going to select this one and just slide this around just to even out the tension. So just like that. So now it's really easy just to add in a loop because I've got really good edge flow through there. I'd probably have to just grab the knife tool and just join that one up there like that. Nice and clean. If I was to put that into a sub-D surface, and I'll just bring it up to two. That looks pretty good. Does appear to be some sort of issue down here. Just check this out. Yeah, that's not joined. Okay, I'll just select that. And let's fix that. Okay. Usually when you're seeing these kind of shading errors, that's a clue that there's something wrong with the geometry. Okay, so looking nice. Obviously, I haven't put the sharpening loops on the rest of the geometry, but you can see that looks super clean. And this also looks good in here as well. So, obviously, when you're retopologizing, there is a certain amount of flexibility. I'd already put this cylinder in here, so I'd established the amount of loops that I wanted to put into that cylinder. So I didn't want to you know, add an extra cut and bring a cut up through that cylinder because it would have messed up the curvature on that cylinder. Uh, I could always you know, put that cut in and then you know, re-space all of these loops and you know, bring that back to a perfect circle, but it was easy just to take out a loop here and then just shift those around. Okay, so hopefully that was useful. I'll see you in the next tip.